Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all our praise down and glory to Yahweh. By Shimi Yahweh by Shimmer Kakurash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the Word, and the cause God, and His name means He exists. And Yahweh Shah's name was on begotten Son, the Word, the cause Jesus Christ, and His name means He delivers. By Shims in the name, Makakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessing to the share oculus pushed forth in the truth. Throughout the four quarters of the earth, I want to say shalom to you brothers to keep pushing. And the double shalom to the Israelites to look like the other nations and to share with them. I want to say shalom to you brothers and sisters as well. My name is Delver Dad from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'm coming back at on another video. In this video, you've seen that demon, Beyonce, which is evident that her and her demonic husband uh, sold out. And we already know they're part of the Illuminati. All right. Secret organization. You know, the word illuminate means to uh, bring light. But what type of light they bringing? They're really bringing the darkness, the dark light, you know. To lighten somebody means to um, to make them see, you know. And but uh, what is Esau Edom pushing? Dark light, everything that's negative, the opposite of um, what's righteous. All right. And Beyonce is an Israelite. You know, you know how much blood that Beyonce got on her hands. All right. Um, and and they're using her to push this demonic light you know how many black women a particularly black women but israelite women is going to die because of beyonce she got a lot of blood on her hands all right so this is uh matthew 17 and 14 let me see if this yeah it's still on and it reads and when they will come to the multitude, there came a certain man kneeling down to him, saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they cannot cure him. Then Yahweh shall answer and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. Okay. And Yahweh Shah rebuked the devil and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. And then the disciples, then came the disciples to Yahweh Shah apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Yahweh Shah said, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say to this mountain, Remove hence and yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible. Unto you. I bet this kind of goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. All right. So, those real heavy demons, they can only go out by prayer and fasting. Those All those unclean spirits, you know, brothers got to get into fasting, right? Because we subject to demons too. A demon can hop on us and make us go off. So, we got to stay prayed up. You know, but these demonic possessions are real. And a majority of these people out here, uh, they got demons on them. You see? It's like um, the Matrix. Anybody that's not unplugged um, is a potential threat. Mark 1 and 23. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out. So the man, he had an unclean spirit on him. He had a demon on him, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Yahweh Shah of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God, the Most High. Yahweh shall rebuke him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of them. And when the unclean spirit had torn him, he cried out with a loud voice and he came out of them. All right, so yeah, it is it's real violent, all right, when these unclean spirits come out of you. 
Because I remember um, one time, you know, those demons came out of me before I came into the truth. I was twitching, you know. The body was you know, twitching because those unclean spirits getting ripped off of you. All right. And it's real violet. You know, making you uh, shake and all that. And yeah, I'm a witness of that. Verse 27. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For what authority commanded he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him? And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region around about Galilee. Right. So these demons are real. You know, and they can make you do um, all type of shit. You know, put it in your mind to uh, do something off or, you know, because a lot of these uh, attacks and a lot of these things that people say, they say nothing but demons. Somebody cut you off in traffic. You know, it's a demon controlling that person to piss you off. Demon might hop on your woman. Demon might hop on another brother, you know. But hey, that, that's a brother. You know, you don't want to react quarterly. Because you react carnally, that can probably make it worse. Because that's what the demon, the, you know, the demon hopped on him to probably test your ass. All right. So you got to make sure that you moving um, spiritually. Because the scripture says to be carnally minded is death. It's, it's enmity with the most high. All right. All right. And this is um, Job 4. And I'm starting at 12. Now, a thing was sickly brought to me. And I think this is Eliphaz. Yeah, Eliphaz the Temanite. And my ear received a little thereof. And thoughts from visions of the nights when deep sleep followed upon men. Fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Yeah. Then the spirit passed before my face. The flesh, the hair on my flesh stood up. Yeah. So we saw a, a, a spirit. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before my eyes. There was silence and I heard a voice saying, right? So it was an image. So he was looking in the dark like, like what the heck is that? Right? And, and, and it spoke. And I heard a voice saying, shall mortal man be more just than the most high? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his and his angels. He charged it with folly. Right. This is actually uh, an angel, you know, but uh, just how, like the demons can come to you. An angel on the right hand side can come to you, too, because uh, all the spirits come from the same place, the spirit world. All right. It says how much less in them that dwell in the houses of clay. Whose foundation is the dust which are crushed before the moth. They are destroyed from morning to evening. They perish forever without any regard in it, right? So, right, so yeah. Like a demon or an angel can come to you, right? I had a brother from the main camp, I'm a one good boy. He just did a video about um, demonic or well, sleep paralysis and all that. All that is a demon, you know? So you gotta call on the name Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You know, and you'll see and you see the power that's in those names. Alright, because when I got held down in my sleep, the demon put his hand over my, my mouth. Alright, and I couldn't say nothing. I just had to just think the name. Alright, just say it, just say it in my spirit. And sure enough, the demon left. But yeah, these demons ain't nothing to be played with. Alright, it's, it's something serious. And we live in the last days and these uh, demons going to manifest themselves, all right? And so you're going to have to, you know, all of us going to have to be ready for that, all right? But, hey, that's all I had on that. I want to say, call all you how about you, my shy. Bashimikakwadash. Shalom, I'm in the Bible ball.